Hi friends, suppose you are asked to resolve this partial fraction. You are asked to resolve this question into partial fraction expression, right? So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to write this, right? Writing this, I'm going to have to be that's theory into bracket 2x squared, right? Minus 8x, right? Then minus 1 divided by that's x plus 4, then x plus 1, and also 2x minus 1. Right? So after that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just take this and if all this expression is actually equivalent to here I'm having linear factors, then I'm going to have to be a over x plus 4, right? Plus b over that's x plus 1 plus c divided by that's 2x minus 1. Right? So after that, the next step is that I'm going to find the LCM. Then finding the FCM in this case, I'm having the factor to be x plus 4, then I'm having x plus 1, then I'm having 2x minus 1. So everything here is equivalent to this expression here. So looking at this, I'm having a bracket here, then I just need to open the bracket. Open the bracket, I'm going to have to be 6s squared, right? Then minus 3 multiplied by 8, that should give us something like 24, right? I'm having to go 24x, right? Then minus 3. Then divided by, I'm having x plus 4, right, x plus 1, then also I'm having 2x minus 1. So after that, what I'm going to do is that this x plus 4 is going to cancel x plus 4 here, so that I'm going to have to be a multiplied by these two factors. Then here I'm going to have to be a into bracket x plus 1, then to open another bracket, that's 2x minus 1. Then plus, this x plus 1 is going to cancel this, then I'm going to have to be b, multiply these two factors, which is b into bracket x plus 4, right? Then open another bracket, that's 2x minus 1. Then after that, these two x minus 1, we cancel them. I'm going to have it to be plus c into bracket again. That will be x plus 4, close bracket, then open another bracket, x plus 1, right? So this is what I'm having. So after that, what I'm going to do now is that this factor, we cancel all this factor. Then I'm left with 6s squared minus 2, 24x minus 3, which is equivalent to a in the bracket x plus 1, right? Open another bracket, 2x minus 1, right? Then plus b in the bracket x plus 4, then open another bracket, that's 2x minus 1, then plus c in the bracket x plus 4, x plus 1. So what I'm going to do is that, in this kind of situation, since everything I'm having here is actually a factor, that means I will go ahead and use the assumed method, or try and error. But in this case, using comparing the coefficients will actually be a long process. So it's better that I just use the assumed method. So now I'm going to say, let x plus 1 equals to 0, then x equals to what? Minus 1. So I'm going to put minus 1 inside this. Right? Let me call this a. Now, looking at this very well, if I should put my minus 1 here, this is x, all right? Then I should put minus 1 here. Minus 1 plus 1, that's actually 0. So, you show that everything here that actually belongs to a is going to be equal to 0. Or the factor of a, right? It's going to be equal to 0. Then, what of this case? If I put minus 1 here, this is not equal to 0. If I put minus 1 here, this is actually minus 2 plus 1, which is not equal to 0. Then, I'll leave it. Then, if I come to this side, this is actually minus 1 plus 4. It is not equal to 0. Minus 1 plus 1. It is actually equals to 0. So now that means my a and c is equals to 0. Then I'm left with 6 into bracket minus 1 squared, right? Minus 24 into bracket minus 1, then minus 3, which is now equal. After substituting, substituting the value of x, it is now equal, right? Then I'm going to have to be my only b, which is left. Then I'm going to have to what? b into bracket minus 1 plus 4, then into bracket, that's 2 into bracket minus 1, then minus 1. Right? So here, I'm going to go ahead and simplify. This is actually 6, right? Then plus 24, right? Then minus 3. So after that, I'm having to be equal. That's, this is actually uh, minus 3, actually. Then here, I'm going to have this to be 3, and this is actually minus 3. Then here, I'm having to what? Minus 9b. 
right so since i'm having this to be minus number what i'm going to do is that this is actually 24 27 rather this is actually 27 so here i'm going to have to build 27 which is equal to minus 9 b exactly so in this case if i should just go ahead and, what, and divide this both side by what by minus 9 then i'm going to have the b to be equal minus 3. So after getting the value of b, the next thing I'm going to do is that I will go back to the factor. Then I can just say, let 2x minus 1 equals to 0, right? Then here I'm going to have to be 2x equals to 1. Therefore, my x equals to 1 over 2. So since I said let 2x minus 1 equals to 0, if I was fixing 0 here and I fixing 0 here, you see that everything here and everything here is actually equal to what? 0, right? So now I'm dealing with this. So now I'm going to have to be 6 into brackets 1 over 2 all squared then minus 24 into brackets 1 over 2 then minus 3 which is now equal when i'm equal since i substitute the value it is now equal this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 then i'm having then i'm having here i'm going to have to be c into bracket 1 over 2 plus 4 right then i'm having open another bracket that's 1 over 2 plus 1 right so if i should go ahead and simplify this simplifying this i'm going to have it to be this is actually 6 over 1 over 4, right? That's actually 3 over 2. So here I'm going to have 3 over 2, right? Since it is 6 over, let me just say 6 multiply 1 over 4. So this is 3 over 2. So here I'm going to have this cancel this, I'm having towards minus 12, right? Then this is actually minus 3, which is now equal to, looking at this very well, 1 over 2 plus 4, that's actually 9 over 2, right? Then I'm going to have this to be what C into bracket 9 over 2, then Open another bracket here, 1, one over 2 plus 1, that should give me 3 over 2, right? So I'm having this to be 3 over 2. So here I'm going to have to be 3 over 2 minus this, no, minus 12 minus 3, that's actually minus 15. Then minus 15 plus 3 over 2, that should give me something like 13.5. And that's point, point 0.5 is actually approximately, I think that should be minus 27 over 2, right? So here I'm going to have to be minus 7, 27 over 2, we give him minus 13.5, which is equal to 9, minus, 9 multiplied by this, that actually, that's actually 27, then this is actually 27c over 4, then I'll go ahead and cross multiply, cross multiply, I'm going to have minus 27 multiplied by 4, that's giving minus 108, right, which is equal to, man, multiply by 27, that's giving, that's 50, I think that's 54, 54c, exactly, then I'll go ahead and divide both by 54, Dividing both sides by 54, then this cancel this, I'm going to have my C to be equal. This goes to this, I think that's 2, then my C equals to minus 2. Right? So, after that, the next thing I'm going to do is that, I'm going to, I'll go ahead again. The next, the last factor here, the last factor here is actually, I think that's X plus 4. Right? That I'm going to say, let X plus 4 equals to 0. If X plus 4 is equal to 0, that means this guy will be equal to zero right that means this guy also will be equal to zero b and c will be equal to zero right then here i'm going to have to be s equals to minus four then i'm going to put minus four into this and my a then i'm going to have to be six into bracket right that will be minus four all squared right then i'm having minus 24 into bracket minus four right then minus three which is now equal to this equals zero, this equals zero, I'm having it to be what? To be A into bracket four plus one. Then open our bracket, we're going to have two into bracket four. That's minus one, right? So now, this is actually minus four, right? Minus four, this should be minus four, this should be minus four. Then I'm going to have to be minus four squared. That's actually, that should give us something like 16. Then 16 multiplied by six, this should give me 96, right? This is 96. Then minus 24 plus, multiplied by plus minus four. That's giving that's 96 again, that's plus 96, then minus td, right? Which is equal to, this actually minus 4 plus 1. Minus 4 plus 1, that's minus td. Then I'm here, I'm grabbing minus td. Then here, that should be, two more like this, that's actually minus 8, then minus 1, that's minus 9. Then I'm having minus 9, right? So minus 3 multiplied by minus 9, that should give me 27, right? So here, I'm going to have to be 27a. So now, going ahead, here, I'm having 96 plus 96. That's actually 192, right? So 192 minus 3, that should give me uh, something like that's I think that's 189. So here I should have to be 189, which is equal to 27a. Then divide both sides by what? 27. Divide both sides by 27. Then I should have my a 
to be. That's 189 divided by 27. 3 goes in this, that's actually, mm, that's, I think that's 18. Then this goes in this, that's giving me that's 3. Right? So 6, 3, that's 63 divided by 9. 63 divided by 9, that's actually, let me like this, this should give me 7 from exactly. That's 7. So here my A equals to 7. So now what I'm going to do now is that I'll come back to this expression. So now this things, I can just say, therefore, my A equals to that 7, right? Then my B equals to, that should be minus 3. Then my C equals to minus 2. So here I'm going to have it to be equal, what's A? A is 7. 7 over X plus 4, right? Then the next thing is plus, since this is minus 3, I'm going to have to be minus, right? Let me just use this. I'm going to have to be minus, that's minus 3 over x plus 1. Then the next thing I'm going to have to be minus 2 divided by, that's 2x minus 1. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please kindly like and share. Share it with your friend. Share it with your friend. Kindly like it and share it with your friend. And don't forget to click on the subscription button. That's the only way you can support this academy. Thanks for watching.